Man, there's something about animals with just big, huge horns. And been in South Texas some, um, seeing some of these exotics down here, the axis is something that's just intrigued me ever since the first time I've seen them. You notice how smart these axes are. They have a nose like no other. I, I think their sense of smell, I don't know that it's better than a whitetail, but sometimes a whitetail will be kind of curious as to, you know, what's going on. If you make a noise, a whitetail may throw its head up and look. Them axes are not that way. I mean, the times that I've been around them, I mean, anything that alerts them, they're just gone. They don't stand around and look to see what it was. They're out of there. One of the first noises I heard down here in South Texas when I first started coming that I had no idea what it was is just a loud bark. Whenever they get alarmed, these axes just make a loud bark. And I mean, it'll kind of make the hair stand on your head when you don't know what it is, but they're a pretty elusive animal. You know, this has been one of my, I guess you would call it dream hunts. You know, been friends with Wade and working with him for a long time. Our schedules kind of, kind of lined up where we could get to come down here and get to hunt one of these things. When he told me that, man, I was just, I was beside myself. I started telling my wife, hey, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but just in case this was to happen and I actually get to shoot one of these, you know, if I do everything right and, and shoot him and, and recover him, better clear out a place on the wall because it's coming home with me. We really kind of had this one axis that I kind of had my eye on. He was a wide, tall, just, I mean, he was a huge axis. And seeing trail camera pictures, he was fairly regular to this one stand. Wade had come up with a good strategy. We'd funded this area before. How we were gonna get in there, we're gonna come up through this creek and come through the brush to the stand. We thought the axis would be out in front of us so we wouldn't be spooking anything. The first evening when we get up here, we go into that stand. Expectations for me are high and cows had just set up camp there. And I'm like, are you kidding me? There's only like 10 cows on this whole pasture that I don't know how many acres it is, a huge place. And they happen to be right there where we're wanting to hunt. And I'm like, well, this is probably not good, but you know, run these cows off and we'll climb up in the stand and set and see what happens. About an hour into it, you know, I catch a glimpse of something. It had some red in it, kind of moving through the brush. My heart just goes jumping like crazy. I'm thinking, oh, here he comes. No, that's the cows coming back. So, I mean, what do you do? I mean, it's too late to, to run to another stand. You know, you don't want to take a chance of messing that other stand up. You know, you're gonna wait till the next day or your next hunt to go hunt. So we just kind of stuck it out there. And lo and behold, you know, we like targets of opportunity down here in South Texas. And uh, when we crawled out of the stand, there happened to be some pigs come in. That's hunting though, you know. I mean, it don't always go the way you plan. Been seeing this big axis on trail camera. And I mean, them cows got us, they sat in here, wouldn't leave, but uh, it wasn't for nothing. Cause <laughs> we did get some meat on the ground. A pig patrol. When we come back, Jeff continues to push forward to make his dream of bringing home an axis buck become a reality. The next morning, Jeff and Wade went to a pop-up blind near a pipeline in another part of the property before the sun rose, with the hopes that Axis would feed in the area. 30, 45 minutes, it starts getting light. We see a couple whitetail bucks moving around out there that they get up there fairly close to us. And Wade looks over there on brush line where he had said, you know, the times he'd sit there before, that's where they normally come out at. Sure enough, there was two axis does come out. They were st actually standing over there eating off a, I think it's a bean tree over there, mesquite beans or something. And I'm like, man, that's a good sign. I mean, at least it's an axis. I mean, it's the right thing we're hunting. Twenty, thirty minutes after we see them axis does, we just happened to look over there in the brush right where they come out, and I mean, it was like, like a dream. You just see horns sticking up. And I don't mean just sticking up a little bit. I'm talking about knocking the tops out of these mesquite trees. Now, this is my story, so I'm going to tell it how I want to, because I got pretty excited. 
my heart goes to jumping and I'm like, is, is this real? I mean, I didn't know they got that big. Well, as he starts getting close to us, I thought I'm gonna range him right now as he's walking because he's not gonna get, you know, if he stops, I wanna be ready to shoot. Well, as I range this animal, it goes to target lock. And that's, to me, that's the coolest thing about the Garmin Zero when it says target lock. It makes me think of an airplane with a fixing to send a missile out. Target locked, you're not gonna miss him. Just pull the trigger. Well, it hits target lock 28 yards. He stops broadside. Wade gives me the go ahead. He's ready. What do I do? I pull the trigger. What happens? Nothing. You always have to remember to take your safety off. Still good. Yep. God, did you see the horse? <laughs> yes, I did. Holy crap, dude. I mean, I told you. As soon as I pulled the trigger, I couldn't stop yeah. shaking. I still can't. <laughs> Golly, man. I mean, you talking about a dream hunt? I have always wanted to hunt with the Maxis, see? They are beautiful. <laughs> that sucker walked out and I'm like, God, I couldn't say nothing over him but horns. <laughs> and I mean, on a string, he come right straight over here to us. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I'm telling you. He hadn't run, he hadn't, I pulled a trigger and I started shaking some bad weight. I ain't ever shook like that in my life. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. I thought he I was... felt the rocks start to fall out from under the blind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I just, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> just hope he don't go very far and hope I did the right thing. Well, we watched the footage back and the shot looked good, but you never know till you get your hands on them, so we're fixing to go start looking. Cross your fingers. As we get on the blood trail, you know, we're following it, and I'm kind of, ah, you know, it's okay blood trail, but not great, but we're in a lot of dirt, so it's kind of hard to see. It's not, you know, it's not like getting in, you know, dead leaves where it just shows up really good. He's bleeding out of both sides, and you, far apart as this blood is, so it had to be a complete pass through, at least it's sticking out on the other side. We tracked this animal maybe 100 yards, probably not even quite 100 yards. And I look up in front of me right in these mesquites where it's kind of shaded and he's piled up right there. Oh, <laughs> right there he is. He's done, baby, he is done. <laughs> thank you, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, man, perfect shot. That's what I wanted more than anything. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. I mean, I've watched these animals down here. I mean, I've never hunted one. I've never hunted anything bigger than a whitetail. And I've always, man, they're just so pretty and big horns. I've always just kind of just wanted to hunt one. And Wade gave me the opportunity. And when I ranged him, I ranged him at 28 yards. And I pulled the trigger and the bow did all the work. I mean, he didn't run less than 100 yards. That is going to make some great venison. And it is going to make a beautiful man on my wall. We will be looking at you, buddy, for a long time. I sure appreciate it. Congratulations, Jeff. This entire dream hunt for your axis is surely one that will never be forgotten.